Okay, let me start. Hey guys, yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, today I'm going to <coughs> we're going to talk about double button and uh, how you use but double button to buy a market. Um, double button is a signal that forest market will give you so that you can use also to buy a market okay, so we have different type of signal on the market but today we are just going to look into the whole button and how it works okay without that being said let's go into the market and uh, bear it in mind using double button is one of the best strategy on forest market and it always happens all the time you understand so we're going to talk, talk about double button also double top like if, the only thing i'm here to talk about today is basically double button then you can use it other way around like if you turn double button if you turn it outside then it will look like double top so if i explain to you guys how double button works so you can take that knowledge and also use it to trade double double top you understand so that is how it was basically nothing less nothing big nothing less so without wasting of time let's dive into the market and see what we have so what i'm going to do on this uh on this explanation is that i'm going to draw out three different type of double button that we have on forest market and i will explain to you guys how you can use it to trade and use it to make money like i said before double button is one of the best strategy we have on the market there are also other signs but i'm going to talk about bottle top double button today then we'll, i will explain more further and how it works so let's go into this into the video so i'm going to make my my recording okay it should look like this one so i'm going to draw three type of double button we have on forest market first so before we now dive into the market and i will not do i'm not i will not explain more about how uh, double button works so like, i'm trying to like get that away okay and then, then shift it to the side okay so now how is double button being used so like i told you guys before we have three type of double button so the first double button we have on the market is going to be normal double button which is it will look like this one two three and then four like that this is the first double button we have on forest market this is the first double button everything will look the same both to, from both from the top and both from the bottom everything will look same then the second double button we also have on the market that we can also have is something like this we have something like this one we have something like this two we have something like this three then this third one like this other bottom of it we don't get to this point it will hang understand to get to this point then it will move up so this is the second double button we have so the third double button that we have on super on uh, forest market is going to be something like this okay then this one will come like this you don't get to this point anymore it will hang at the spot then to go up then the the other leg will come like this so so these are the three type of double button that we have on forest market and bear with me these three type of double button they always work on forest market so the 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 best thing you should do as a forest trader is just for you to what notice them and they also understand how they work so i'm going to explain to you guys how i use my double button to trade because basically what they normally say they say you should enter <coughs> you should enter from a buy here but me i don't enter from a buy deal what i normally do i enter a buy from the support zone not from this neck resistance zone because most of the time when double button wants to fail most of the time what double buttons do it does is this 
by the time the reverse double button will get to this point most of the time it will get fake then the market will revise back you understand so bear that in mind most of the time you can use this name right here you can use it to like um or the top here i normally call it name or the top here you can use their place as your first tp you understand as your first tp and i bet you entry the trade from here you can make a lot of money the moment the money at the market gets here and there are a lot of people if you take a trade here you use a bigger law side by the time the trade gets here you have already made thousands of money you understand that's the reason why when i'm trading most of the time i normally enter the trade at the support zone you understand so that even all my trade is being placed most of the time on the support zone and certainly there are some um they i didn't like the setup the market gave me at the support zone maybe most of the time what i will do i will now make wait for the trade to you know play out a little bit somewhere here then when i take the trade that we use here i put my stop loss at the bottom here so if i'm entering a trade at the double bottom at this point what i normally do i enter the play uh, the trade here i put my uh, stop loss here because most of the time what may market makers do or banks and the other financial institutes what they normally do at time they would like to push the market back down you understand they would like to like push the market back down that is why when i enter the trade here I put my stop loss below the uh support zone you understand you know another thing you are, we also find on and, and forest market is this most of the time when the market is at this point it might the market might do a fake out then i reject back you understand so those are most of the things i pay attention to before entry market and most of the time those things they play out and they also they also work okay so now the next thing I'm going to, I just place a trade now. I just place a trade on, on BTC because today is Saturday. So what I'm going to do now, I will explain to you guys how I trade these three type of double button. It's quite simple and they are always like same thing. But the most important thing you are going to do while trading this type of, uh, while trading this type of uh, double button, you have to be it in mind. You have to mark out your support zone. That is the most important thing because double button simply means that the market was selling down and get to a support zone so it rejected back and it built uh the double bottom so what i'm going to do right here what i normally do is this let me use this one i'll first of all analyze this one out so i think, I think probably i'll just have to take this one up a little bit these two up okay i'll take these two up then i'll bring this one down okay i will analyze on this one what i normally do is this the moment i see the market has already created a support right here okay what i normally do i'll put my uh, horizontal line or trend line right here because that is what we really want to do on the market you understand so like i said before i will take my horizontal line because more than time you might make the market creating the first support right here or at times you might make the market the market side right here, right here. if you see a sign of v portion don't enter the trade give the uh, wait for the market to get to uh, uh, get to this uh, little bit of resist created this resistance zone and uh, when the market girl created the this a little bit sign of form of like and in other way i'm going to end is supposed to be this way but form of this i think now which is we are having right here like this one one two three moment the market get here at times you might make the market creating something like this already before you get in but that's all before you enter the market start doing your analysis so what i normally do is this when i see market doing such a thing all i might do is it i will just put my horizontal line here put my horizontal line here then i don't do nothing else then another thing i always do is this i will put either my horizontal line and this top here but most of the time i use horizontal rate and i'll put it right here okay so the reason why i'm doing that I'm, because I told you guys before, when the market is here, I'm going to be entering the market right here. Then I'm going to be waiting for my take first take profit right here, so that at least when the market is buying up, what I'm going to do when the market gets here, I might take some some entries off, or I might just close the trade. You understand? Because probably I'm already done for that day. You understand? I'm already done for for that day or for that trade right there. You understand? That is one thing I always do. So doing that also doing that way also make you understand that at this point the market have a what a, a resistance you understand 
before another thing you guys have to bear it in, bear in mind is this before this market will continue up most of the time when it gets to this resistance the market will do something like this the market will not instead of the market to go up most of the time it might continue this way then it went up then market will come back down and create a little bit of support at this zone the market might do something like this then at the end of the day it continue up most of the time market does that so everything that i'm showing you guys right now i will show you guys on on a previous trade you understand i will show you guys most of the time double button does this kind of sing signal you understand this pull back is because of this resistance get broken it pull it back most of the time it doesn't retest at this point and continue uptrend it will most of the time it will come back down a little bit and create a little bit of support at this zone right here then the market will not continue up okay that is that one that's one of one of the way i trade this kind of double button this is the easiest double button to trade on forest market this is the easiest so another thing let me bring out the rest one i will also show you guys how i also trade those kind of but double button because it's not it, i don't trade them and um all the um, all the double button. i don't trade them the same way you understand i don't trade them the same way i always try to trade them differently because these double button they are quite different okay they are quite different oh, it's not showing anymore for example i think i should just take it back let me go back let me go back let me go back let me go back, let me go back. okay it's fine coming back okay let's see next one Okay, I think it's not coming back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, do it. Mm. Draw another double button. So now let me draw another double button. I just enter a trade. I'm making now uh, already. Look at what I'm making. Let me drag it up. If you guys can see Look what I'm making, I'm making four hundred dollar. Let's see, four hundred dollar from BTC. So even the BTC I'm trading right now is a double button double top sign which is the opposite the opposite side of a double double button you can see so it's 600 right now 600 so the second double button like i said before is this one let me draw it out and this one is a little bit complicated together with the last one they are the hardest to trade that we have this leg here we will be hung a little bit at the top okay this one right here is a little bit different so most of the time what i do the way i trade this one most of the time i trade it in two different type of way because before the market will start buying it will create a support zone right here and before creating a support zone definitely the market is going to leave us with a, a little bit of a candlestick you understand you will see a lot of, a lot of candlestick right here so what i normally do with this candlestick the market will give me what i do is this i will look for um three type of candlestick it's either pin bar it's either pin bar or um three can three type of candlestick is that pin bar uh and gothic candlestick or uh, what is the other one and gothic candlestick or um, dodgy right here you understand which is definitely the market will give us this uh this uh candlestick right here and the market created this candlestick right here i will look for pin bar and goffy candlestick and dodgy okay so at this point i will look for it right here this zone so the moment the way i normally analyze this one when the market gave me this created this support zone right here i will mark this place out as a support zone then i will mark this place out i'll mark this place out as a resistance zone so as you guys can see right now I'm almost at 1k 1000 us dollar in profit almost 1000 us dollar in profit just can say just like that easy so <clears throat> after creating this most of the time i will take uh, no this trend line i'll just like mark it right here like this okay i'll just mark it right here so the moment i think that this market is creating this support right here this support right here i will mark this place out so that i will have a clue of what is happening right here 
at that moment if i think that the market gave me a signal i would just place the buy because like i told you guys we have three type of candlestick that is how i trade this one okay so that is that one then trading this one most of the time this market will just when it gets here it might not pull back at times it will pull back and do exactly the same thing something like this to go up and come back i did you know up and down here up and down up and down up and down you know the end of the day market will continue up so like i said before that is how the whole button normally be here. so the last one is going to be going to be this type of double bottom the first leg will be hung a little bit then to now have the top leg this way okay when right, i say third leg second leg right, this one or two so how do i trade this one that moment this double button creates this support zone this is the most hardest double button you can ever trade the most hardest then i will tell you guys the reason why i said is the most hardest is the most most harder because the moment the market created this first leg then i will mark this place out okay what will not happen when the market gets here that is why i told you guys don't you don't enter a trade just like that you have to like you know watch out on that trade what will happen when the market gets here if you place a buy right here this is where the market maker will push the market down you understand then the market will not create another another uh what is it called another leg at this bot button here at that point now if you are not careful you might close your trade the moment you close your trade and it has happened to me several times the moment you close your trade what will happen the market will look for a setup to start buying up at that time you are already you are losing already understand so the market revised back a little bit uh, making 500 i have two positions because of that pullback that is why i added two positions so i'm not making 500 or something towards one thousand something for so it's good it's already so what i was saying before they will push this market down at that point most of the time people that like i said i enter right here the market will take my if i put my tp right here the market might hit my tp take me out but most of the time i don't always place my tp i will enter market i will because i've already i've already uh put my long position like no, what i normally do for example if it happens this way and i will explain to you guys another thing you guys need to understand about forest trade because forest trade i always tell people at times forest trade can be a little bit uh, you know sketchy and that is why i always say most of the time forest trade is like a spiritual thing you understand let me say for example i place my stop loss right here but i will enter the trade but i will not put set my stop loss because i won't like to you guys i hardly set stop loss i might set a profit but stop loss i hardly set it i don't know why a lot of trader does not set even stop loss you understand a lot of trader does not do that you understand so what i normally do when i see that i'm losing a lot of money because i have some certain amount i want to lose if i'm trading a 100k account i might say okay i want to lose three thousand a day four thousand a day the moment i lose that money or two thousand a day depend you understand depend on the kind of setup i'm having you understand is it's every setup is not always the same i'll say okay if i lose three thousand i will close my trade if i lose four thousand i'll close my times i'll say okay, if i lose one thousand i'll close my trade and bear it in mind your losses depend on your what on your lot size you understand your losses depend on your what on your lot size you understand when people said i'm losing this kind of money i'm losing that kind of money it depends on your lot size imagine if you take this trade with let me say with one lot size at the end of the day from here to here you're not going to lose a thousand dollar you understand there's no how there's no way you understand so probably if you enter from you know from here the market let's say for example i take two lock sides from here from, from here to here if i'm losing but if you are trading pair like jama 40 us 30 and the nas with two lock sides from here to here you might lose two thousand you understand and those are my favorite pair those three pair jama 40 us 30 and nas those are my favorite pair and i trade them a lot you understand so at the end of the day if the market gets here maybe i might wait a little bit at the end of the market will create something like this the second leg the market will start buying you understand so at times what i normally do when the market is at this zone 
Like I told you guys, what I normally do, I wait for those three candlesticks. If I get that three candlesticks right here, if I get pin bar, um, pin bar and graphic candlestick and dodgy, I will take a buy. I don't hesitate anymore. You understand? That is how I trade it. But I don't enter. I hardly, I, I hardly enter a trade. You know, at this top when it's double bottom, I enter at the support zone. But this is the hardest you can trade. The hardest type of. Uh, uh, double button you can trade so that is that without that being said so let me show you guys um a few double button that we have on the uh, on the market you understand let me show you guys and you guys will understand from there okay this is first one as you guys can this is the, the the second double button i just show you guys you can see this is our support right the market has already created this support right here let's put that thing right there let's say for example like this okay now you guys can see you see the double button okay this one happened yesterday these ones happened yesterday you can see double button then the market boom okay this is a double button right so this double button you can see how this double button get created you understand at the end of the day and it plays out you understand so like i was telling you guys before you see this double button when it was working see when it gets to this neck neck what happened the market pulled back that was the one i explained to you guys before i said most of the time the market might get here and pull back down then and continue up and that is what happened right there right so that is one this double button so i will also show you another uh -huh. look at the 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 third double, double button i showed you guys you guys can see here you see the first leg is hand you can see then at the end of the day the third leg came down and this one also this one is a beautiful one because why this one is a beautiful one you can just use this um this your support zone you know to wait for for the market right here the moment the market gets here it didn't get up to this point it, it went up if you are someone that are familiar with these three type of with these three type of uh, double button i just explained to you guys as this second leg is coming you will understand that you would or you will understand that this market is that Type of double button at the end of the day, look at what happened. You're already in massive profit. Look at it. if you are supposed to enter a double button right here. Look at what you go, what you make at the end of the day, the market might goes against you. But if you enter right here, but if you enter right here, like I said before, look how, how you take the full buy and you make a lot of money. That person that will enter right here, same thing with this. If this person enter right here, for example, look at what you are making. But if you enter at this zone, the third leg, or this one right here, you enter right here, you understand? Okay, let me say, this is the second one. The third one, we look for it. This is, the this is the second double button, and this is the third double button. If you enter right here, look at the money you are making, instead of entering entry right here. Okay, now if you look at this symbol right here, I can assure you that this one is a better setup. If we are on 15 minute time frame, what if we go to 30 minute time frame? You see, 30 minute time frame gives us dodgy dodgy at the end of the day this is a better way to buy you understand so go for it then if you come to this one like i explained to you you guys before where is this one? okay look at it right here as you guys can see at this point come on not talking to you, so as you guys can see at this point look what happened you see this candlestick came out to be like three steps to engulf this one at the end of the market continue or what if we put it on uh, 30 minutes Look at it, and also it didn't work that way. But at, as, as as far as the market's already at your support zone, and they have given you this one, and together giving you a dodging right here, it's a good sign. But at this support zone, because this is a solid place for the market to break, so that is the reason why you will enter right here. So I will also show you guys another double button. Okay, look at another double button here right here. Look at this double button, like the second double button I told you guys. If I take my horizontal line. Put it right here you can see this is the first leg the second leg get got hung you can see when it got hung then they look at it you make a lot of money okay so look at what happened when the market broke it came back down and came to do a retest before it continues up so that is how it works so i will also look for another double button so look at another double button. always the hangy leg this is another double button you see always the hangy leg market always create a double button so this is the, the other side of the double button double top you can see 
which is what I'm using right now to take a trade. You understand? This is what I use right now to take a trade. Double top. You can see? Created double top right there. That's what I use right now to enter a trade and it's playing out already. Okay? So like I said before, you can see, plays out. This is double bottom. Why this is a, a double top, you can see. So I'm not going to go further. Look at another double top bottom also. The hang, the hang one also. Hang the leg right here, but this one was a little bit longer. Look at the other, this double bottom. And as you can see, this market get open right here, you can see. Around 12 o'clock, look at this. When I put my mouse right here, you guys should look at this point. You guys will see. It was 12 o'clock because uh, mass and US 30 and German they normally open by 12 o'clock midnight. You can see it with Ita in Italian time, you understand. Leaving it, you can see this double button, this sweet double button. You see this double button. Look at double button. Market is full of double button and double top. Look at this one. This is straight double button. Look at this sweet double button. Everything match. This is the easiest but double button on the market you can ever find. Look at it. You see one. Two, three, four. You see how sweet this double button is. Look at what I told you guys. You see, at the end of the day, the market did, did what it came back after the market break this uh, the next zone. Oh, what happened? Trend up, then came back down to do a retest. It did, like I told you guys. Look for a setup. You can see here we have pin bar. This pin bar is supposed to be for a set, but based on basically it's on our resistance zone on the neck of a double button what happened market continue pulling up and you can see look, after after that market created double button right here using what using what the market use this neck neck uh, neck resistance zone look at it we use ne neck resistance zone that created support right here then i created support and continue uptrend so you guys can see that i'm not lying so I'm not going to go further than here, but I will stop here because I don't want this video to be too long. So I will just stop right here. This is just for me to make you guys understand a little bit on how the whole button works. And if you can recognize those signals on the market, definitely you are going to. If you are not that kind of person that will, you know, that, will, that, that, that don't have confidence on what you are doing, you are going to miss a bug. If you have confidence on what you are doing, you are going to, you are going to take the trade and make money. And bear it in mind guys trade is about probability and if you have those probability on the market look the market is trying to go back and not making how much not making how much 100 or something it was 1000 something before you understand so so i will still i'm still going to hold because i, I added two positions and the market pulled back so i'm still going to hold you understand but you might go back to my entry and my you know come out from the trade i don't know so, like I was explaining before, guys, bear it in mind. Forex trading is basically on what? On probability. So, when this market gives you the probability, you have to take it. It's just like a normal life. You understand? Life comes with circumstances and the circumstances and the what? With a uh, probability, with opportunity. The same thing. If you have this kind of opportunity on the market, because opportunity and probability, they are similar. You understand? If you have this opportunity on the market, and this market market create this kind of opportunity for you, don't hesitate. You understand? I can I can assure you anything on forest market. That is one thing for sure. But one thing I can tell you is this: if you are doubting yourself, instead of you know taking that trade with your personal money, like with account you are, you, you funded or with your with a profit account, you can just backtest them by using what by using demo account. From there, you can create a confidence. By using a demo account, you can create a confidence on what you are doing and on, on and the, on those probability that the market gave to you. In that way, after testing it, by testing it for a while, you will get to understand how these things work. Then have the opportunity to like trade and take a trade with confidence and do a lot of that. You understand? So, guys, this is all I um, can tell you guys today. Because I don't want this video to be too long. This is what I can tell you guys today because the video is almost over 30 minutes. And uh, we'll see. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm still going to bring in more video. I'm going to be taking it one a, one step at a time so that you guys can get to understand about how all these things work. And from there, you guys can also use this opportunity to take a trade and also make more money. So there is a lot of money to make on forest market.
if only you understand how all these things work so by next week maybe tomorrow is sunday so maybe probably i'm going to be doing another video maybe tomorrow you can see 10, saturday 10th of august so tomorrow is sunday so maybe probably i'm going to do another video i'm still going to be uploading it to, uh, tomorrow probably or i might upload that one on sunday no on monday sorry this one i'm going to be uploading uploading it right where we edit it I will not, my editing is not that much i'll just put music on the background that is it so guys if it's your first time coming across my youtube channel please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you like you can like my video you can share with people that are interested in forest trading and uh, also leave a comment ask me a question or ask me a question about forest trade or ask me or ask me to make a video about some certain things and i can also do that and don't forget to also go to my description you can see the profile that i'm using so you can select anyone you have like there you can also buy an account from them and then uh, you can also write me on my instagram if you guys want to be about my instagram is not tagged right now i'm, I'm not right them i put my instagram right there you can just leave a comment that i use your pro uh use your link that you put on your description so i got an account whatever if you like that is all i can say so thank you guys and uh, don't forget to always come back to my youtube channel because there's a lot of video coming little by little because my youtube channel is basically on financial lifestyle and so many other things okay so thank you guys for all that thank you guys